Video City TV. Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Callie Ann, and we got Japan in the building. We got Konami. Hey, Hello. welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, we are so grateful to have an amazing dancer on the show with us. So you are from Japan. Yes. Were you born there? Yes, I was born in Japan, and I came to New York in 2016. And that was originally for college studying. I was a dance student yeah. in college, Ooh. and I graduated, and now I'm uh, doing, you know, uh, all the dancer, choreographer, performing artist uh, gigs, and yeah. I'm based in New York City. Isn't yeah. that amazing? And when you're in New York, you can literally utilize any talent you have mm -hmm. and, like, pursue it and have that as a job. I mean, I, <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was going to work out, especially my you know, graduation year was 2020, which is, of course, a COVID year. <laughs> oh, we all yeah. know that because I came in 2016. So yeah. the graduation is, of course, four years later from that. Yeah. And, and, you know, my original plan was, of course, probably auditioning for dance companies and you know, like uh, I was hoping to get hired by somebody, I don't know, companies or choreographers or yeah. whatever. But uh, COVID made it impossible, Oh, uh, as we all know. You know, During even Broadway time. was closed. Mm -hmm. um, nobody could do any live performances in New York City because oh, yeah. of the lockdown and all that. So, uh, you know, I was doing a lot of quarantine dancing. Yeah. Maybe many dancers can relate to this, but, you know, just dancing in the empty room. Uh, I was still in this apartment on campus, so I was living oh. by myself. I had to quarantine myself because, you know, that was the guideline from yeah. the state and all that. Um, but one day I just decided to go out on the street and start a street performance because... Yeah. I think I did quarantine dancing almost like four months or so, yeah. and I was moving around my body, but it really didn't feel like I was dancing because, like you know, what I'm dancing for was like empty couches and tables <laughs> and chairs and blank walls. So uh, I really felt like okay, like I'm gonna run crazy if I continue doing this any longer. So uh, I really needed to dance in front of real humans, you know. Wow, I needed to take it out to the streets for the people to see. So then you go ahead, you went and took yeah. that journey with you to the streets. Mm -hmm. you, and you took, a, you said a, a paper? or Yes, so actually, um, so I went to Washington Square Park. Okay, we love that. And to, you know, test out how the street performance would work. And I had no idea at the uh -huh. time. And after my, you know, experiment mm -hmm. dancing in the park, I found another artist who was doing the life painting performance Ooh. in Washington Square Park. And, and later I got to know he is also a Japanese artist. And by the time I met him, he was doing this live painting performance for four years. Wow. And I started to talk to him and then, you know, like general questions, yeah, yeah. like, you know, how long you've been doing this, how often you are here. And he said that he was there almost every day. Yeah. So uh, I asked him, well, I have nothing to do right now. It's COVID. <laughs> can I join you? And, you know, maybe oh, wow. we can collaborate. And he was a very welcoming person. And yeah. he was like, yeah, of course, you know, we can, you know, we can perform together anytime. And I took those words very seriously. Mm -hmm. And right next day, I started to come every day performing yeah. with him. And that's how I got introduced to the live painting aspect, which yeah. I still do today. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't a painter at all at first. But yeah. because of this person in the park, I started doing that's it. That's amazing how you run into people and you can just get inspired to move and do yeah. something and take action. But also, I just got to add out there that you have some balls <laughs> to just go in the street by yourself, not knowing anyone and deciding, you know what, I'm going to well, dance in front of these humans because I can't dance in front of these sofas and walls anymore. <laughs> so that's amazing. That's super inspiring. I mean... Where does that courage come from? What, like, I don't know. <laughs> For me, at least, that was really urgent. I don't oh, know. like urgent. Uh, maybe I, I got the wrong word while I was in English. I, I just really felt like I, I have to 
you know. No, that's the right word. Yeah. If you okay. feel like you have yeah, to. Yeah, because I was doing a lot of like, you know, like Zoom dancing, yeah. <laughs> quarantine dancing. And I even did, you know, like live streaming and collaborating with my musician friends, connecting yeah. on the Zoom and live streaming and, and all that. But at least for me, like it's very important to have like actual humans who are receiving my performance, my yeah. dancing, but for a long time during the COVID time, you know, like those people were absent in the space I was dancing. So, uh, you know, like, yeah, that was scary, of course, at first. I was super nervous even to open this like donation box for the first time. I oh. still remember like, should I do this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I picked a little corner because I wasn't confident enough at the time and yeah. all that, but, um, but regardless, I had to do it. Like yeah. otherwise, like I missed real human connection so much. Yeah, <clears throat> because you know, like I was just truly living by myself. Like mm, yeah. and because he was not allowed to have anyone in the same room at the time. You know, we had no idea what is this virus. Yeah, um, yeah, of course. So yeah. six feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I think my need surpassed the fear yeah. and you know being scared and all that feelings like it is scary it was scary but I had to do it yeah. You know? yeah yeah that's super inspiring you know I think we do need that that human connection it's what yeah. energizes us to be able to mm -hmm. give the best of ourselves and to be able to tap in who we are yeah so that's a very beautiful story so do you do dance full-time now yeah Pretty much. I mean, so, I mean, over the time it shifted, you know, how often I do street performance. Mm -hmm. I, so I started performing by myself in November 2020. And probably the first a year and a half or so, I was literally performing like six days a week. That's amazing. Every single day. It, it didn't matter for me. I mean, it still doesn't matter if it's snowstorm, rainstorm, Ooh. thundering, even Ooh. like a hail. That's Ooh. natural acupuncture from the sky. Yeah. Um, <laughs> natural <laughs> acupuncture from the sky. <laughs> it felt pretty good. I'm not going to no, lie. That's um, amazing. But I yeah, I was there really every day. Yeah. Um, but you know, like the, the COVID restrictions slowly got loosened up. So now I have more opportunity to perform in indoor spaces, yeah. art gallery spaces and all other different things. So right now it's about half and half, half of the time. I mean, still Washington Square Park because I, I love performing there still. Yeah. But another time I sometimes produce my own shows. Yeah. I join, you know, other like performances or art galleries and so yeah, trying to balance it out. Yeah. So yeah. That is that is so amazing. You guys have to check out Konami. <laughs> check out her Instagram. Go check her out on Washington Square Park. And actually she has a performance coming up this month. So yes. well, let's talk about that. Tell them all about it. Make sure Thank you guys you. show up. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> mentioning about that. Um so uh, yeah, I was accepted to this uh, choreography slash dance film festival Ooh. coming up uh, at the end of this month, September, and I will perform on September 28th uh, in the theater called Arts on Site. It's in St. Mark's, New York City. So yeah, I put all the information in my website, Instagram, you know, all the online yeah. uh, sources. So yeah, and if you could make it, that'd be great. I will also do the live painting while I'm dancing Ooh. as well. Ooh. So uh, I'm really grateful that like, it's very like whole circle in a way because I was in college and then of course the, the dance I was learning is like a lot about theaters, you know, being on the stage indoor and then COVID happened and I really started to focus on street performance and then I started to perform in art galleries a lot because I paint. Yeah. And then now I'm coming back with my whole like you know my it own, all together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like my own thing and then I'm now coming back to this theater setting with my own choreography work. So uh, it's very interesting for me.
super amazing. We are so grateful for you. We are so happy you got to share who you are and your journey here on Video City TV. Make sure to tap in with Kamani, everyone. Konami! I know it's kind of confusing, but I, I did meet Kamani before, <laughs> at least twice or three times. So. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Video City, tap in. What is going on, y'all? It's your girl, Niara J, and we are here with Video City in the heart of Times Squares with the one, the only, Nadia Renee. Yes. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. It's your girl, Nadia Renee. How are you? Thank you. For I'm doing... First of all, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having <laughs> me. I'm doing good. I'm doing wonderful. That's good. So you are a music artist. Yes. You have been doing this for a while. Yes. Since you were in high school. Was it before high before school? Before high school. You know, I started singing in church. And right. I feel like, you know, ever since then, that's when I knew, like, this is what I wanted to do. So mm -hmm. I've been pursuing it ever since. Nice. So talk about your musical journey, like how it started um, and what led us to be here right now. So I remember I wrote my first song for my mother on Mother's Day and she was like, oh, my God, you need to like take this serious. And then when I was in high school, I started like writing. I think it was ninth grade. I started writing different type of music and I used to write based off like people's lives like oh nice okay. based off like what people used to tell me you know I was young so mm -hmm. I really didn't have much relationship experience so I used to just like based off what I used to hear from like my mom or my sister I used to try to put it into a song so that's how I got my start with writing music nice I love that I love yes. that and you are an educated woman yes you just got your master's congratulations yes. Thank you. we love we love an educated <laughs> queen yeah, like, <laughs> You we know, definitely, <laughs> definitely. We love an educated queen. Um, so, you know, school is very demanding. Yes. It's very demanding. Music is very demanding. <laughs> we was literally talking off camera about how demanding both Yes, are. literally. So how were you able to kind of balance both music and, and getting your education? You did graduate, so you, did, you had some type yes. of success with that. <laughs> yes. But how, how were you able to balance um, it? It's definitely, you know, not easy. I would say I feel like, you know, life experiences have definitely prepared me for this, like being able to multitask, um, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with a lot. You know, my father passed away and while I was in school. So I feel like, you know, I was able to juggle a lot. So I feel like, you know, while I was in school for my master's, I was definitely still in the studio. And yeah. Definitely. So what's the what's the secret? What's the secret to the success? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like everybody has a different secret, you know? <laughs> everybody has their own secret to success. Mm -hmm. no, no, but secret, I don't. The secret to the success of balance in both oh, schools? I, um, I feel like it definitely takes a good support a support system. I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, my mom and my sister are my biggest supporters. Oh, nice, um, nice. You know, talk therapy in the house, you know, starts at home, I guess. And, yeah, so being able to talk to my mom and stuff has definitely been soothing, I would say. And, mm -hmm. you know, she definitely supportive, so... I love that. Yeah, it's nothing like having a supportive parent. Yeah. It's nothing like that. That's literally nobody could be supporting you as yep. long as your mom exactly. is there to support you. Then <laughs> exactly. you don't even care. Nope. Nope. I love it. And then you just dropped your song not too long yes. ago on my body. Yeah. Let's get into Period. that. Let's talk about that. So, you know, Sexy Jill. Shout out to Cash Cobain. Period. Um, you know, Sexy Jill is <laughs> lit right now. And I just wanted to, you know, put my little spin on it. So I decided to do it. And, you know, it's doing well on streams. Nice. I dropped it on July 5th. Mm -hmm. And we are like 2K streams on Apple Music wow. right now. So I'm just trying to, you know, maneuver into Spotify now, you know, get into Spotify more. And, yeah, I have a new single dropping soon. Okay, let's talk about that. Yeah, so it's going to be called Yum, Yum, Yum. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to drop it this weekend, actually, but I want to plan some content for it first mm -hmm. before I drop it. So that's what I'm getting into, some okay. content for it first. 
Okay, okay. Yeah. And you actually mentioned sexy drill. So you are would you consider yourself like an R and B artist or um, how, at how first would you consider I did. yourself? At first when I first started out I considered myself to be more of an R and B. But you know, as times change, you know, you learn yourself and mm -hmm. you know, I started rapping. So it's like I wouldn't really consider myself to be R&B, like, I do it all, you know, I do, I do what I feel like I could do. Love it, and yeah. actually, that segues, way into, that segues into my next question mm -hmm. about versatility, like, yeah. you're very versatile, yes. so why is it important for you to be versatile in your, in your artistry? I feel like because, you know, um, every day you wake up different, you, you might feel one way this day, one way another day, mm -hmm. and I just feel like, you know, I want to be able to have content for whatever mood I'm feeling like. I may want to wake up one day and be like, all right, I want to do some content for this rap I got, because mm -hmm. I'm just in some go mood. Usually when I'm rapping, it's more like, I just want to talk my shit, like, I just want to, you okay. know, yeah, and when I'm sitting, I'm on some calm, so it just really depends on my mood. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, well, yep. <laughs> before we wrap it up, what is next for Nadia Renee? <sighs> Well, next, um, just be prepared to see more content. I feel like that's what I'm wanna wanna do for the remaining of the year, and then 2025, I just wanna do more content. Um, I definitely wanna do some um features with females. Um, mm -hmm. next year I wanna start leaning more towards that, you know, and yeah. I love it. And where can the people contact you if they want to contact so you? So my Instagram is Nadia Renee, N-A-D-I-A-A -A with two A's underscore Renee, and Facebook is, is Nadia Renee as well. And there you have it. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us here at Bayo you City. For me. And make sure you all stay tuned for everything yes. Nadia Renee has coming up. Listen, we we in tune. <laughs> we in tune with what you got going yep. on. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs>
and I was just ready. You know, Wyclef was uh, headlining it. Um, uh, Fat Joe was there as well. And I rocked out. I rocked out with my song, Walk This Way. Never never performed it ever in my life. Um, uh, never came out yet. It's, it's, it's coming. This going to be a new single coming out soon. Walk This Way. Y'all check it out uh, soon. And yeah, it was just, I rocked the crowd. It was like 400 people. See, I saw that now. I didn't <laughs> want the crowd rocking. That's why I saw it. I was like, yeah, he really had that thing going. Yeah. Like, and folks like see his Video City TV family. So yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. Shout out to Flex. Yeah, He's always cool. Yeah. He's probably love you yeah. at this point. I like that. Definitely, definitely. So, now that I'm familiar with your song, Walk This Way, is coming mm-hmm. out. Because I got to hear it when it was first getting filmed. Yes, yes, yes. So, tell me promo. about the song. Because I know it's a, it's a cover, right? And it's a little bit of it's your It's kind of like a, style. yeah, it's like a, it's like a little cover, uh, 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 uh uh, in honor of, of uh, like Run DMC and Aerosmith, whatever. That's yeah. the, the idea, you know what I'm saying? So I just, yeah, my my producer V Note, she had the beat, and it was it's like my style is like rock, okay. hip hop, pop, 80s pop. That's the yeah. style, you know what I'm saying? I'm like a rock star out here in these streets. So she had the beat, and I was sitting on it for like a year, and then I came up with the Walk This Way joint, and it just yeah, it just that's how it happened. That's the, it, it, I don't even know how to explain it. it just came out and I and that's the first song I have done in a while with three verses. I don't usually do three verses on a song. Okay. But I was feeling it. Every verse is a different cadence, a different, you know, melody or whatever. So yeah. I like that you yeah. put your heart on the track. Yeah, definitely, that's definitely, dope. definitely. See and you know what I consider myself a rock star too. So okay. I'd like to see when people do their little genre yeah. thing. Like I think that's so dope. Yeah. Like you really do mix a lot of different mm-hmm. genres in your stuff. Mm-hmm. We definitely gotta check out Walk This Way when it comes out, y'all. Definitely, definitely. Now I need to know more. So where can we find you? Where are we gonna be seeing you out soon? What are you working on? Any projects you got in the Tank. Okay, so um, you can find me on Instagram, J Ho J A I H O the Golden Child. You know, spell regular. Uh, that's on every platform: Facebook, Instagram, Spotify. I'm on Apple Music. I have 30 songs out, y'all. I have like a lot of songs out. Uh, my first EP was uh, the Gold Standards. Okay. That's my first EP I dropped in 2017. It's a five five song EP. Uh, it has a lot of rock inspired stuff in there too. Um, so I'm just working on the I'm working on the Walk This Way song, and then I have the Dynasty Collection, the sweatsuits. I have three different colorways of the sweatsuits. This is the cream and red uh, collection, right? Well, cream and red colorway, and uh, yeah. So I'm working on that. I'm doing a pop up for the clothing as well with the music. I might do a little performance. Who knows? I'm working okay. on. Okay. Yeah, video CTV exclusive. Yeah, definitely, yes. definitely, definitely. <laughs> I'm um, also um, trying to get into more shows, you know, because we have to, we set the bar yeah. up here, right? You know, we can't go lower right. than the bar. So, you know, doing more more bigger shows and stuff like that. So, I like yeah, that. See, yeah. we need to talk about it. We, we color coordinated. Yeah, we ain't even planning this, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? at all. See, the style is really coming with <laughs> right, me. Right. So, I got a couple more questions. Mm-hmm. So, I really want to know what inspired you to go with gold. I feel like gold has been something that has really, you know, been reminiscent on your music. Right. All your, you know, clothing. Right. Even your rings. Even, yeah, I want to show, yeah, yeah, yeah. show the camera sure. the ring, y'all. Like, come on, this is insane. <laughs> I need to know where this came from. How did you come up with this? So basically, all right. So the way how to so J Ho is my real name. Okay. The Golden Child. I added it. I don't know if y'all remember the movie from Eddie Murphy, right? Yeah. So remember 106 in Park? They was doing Wild Out Wednesday. Okay. I was auditioning for that years ago, and I just went by J Ho. My my style was di- totally different, far as like music and stuff goes, right. like that. And the guy, uh, I forget his name, but the guy that was. Uh, you know, doing the, the audition yeah. or whatever, he was like, you know, what's your brand? What's your style? And this before I, I'm like 19, 20 years old, I don't know nothing Aww. about that stuff. So I was like, damn, but I'm hot. I'm hot. I spit hot fire, you know, like da 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 da. And uh, so I'm like, you know, that, that really, you know, I quit for three days. I quit music for three days. And I'm like, wow. All right. But then I had to, you know, learn. And I'm like, you know what? He is right. Let me go with the brand. I'm like, the golden child. I'm Asian. I'm black. I'm Asian. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then gold to me, you know, is, is, is pure, but also is malleable. So, you know, I can adapt to different situations. You know what I'm saying? Because 24 karat gold is very soft. And it, it can mold into a ring. It can mold into uh, anything you want. You know, the possibilities are endless. So, you know, that's I take to me where I could just do, I could do anything I put my mind to. You know, I make music. I make clothing. Um... But I do I do everything, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, music and fashion is just the, the first things that you will see from me. But you'll see other things as well. I like that. See, I, I knew that it had some kind of meaning. Yeah. Because when you come in, you come in shining. Like, yeah. you see it, y'all. Y'all see the aura. Yeah. Y'all see what he's working yeah, with. You know, golden Lord. That yeah. golden child. Yeah. I love that. Mm-hmm. So where can we find you? On Instagram, Facebook? Where yeah, you, you find me on Instagram, Facebook, J-A-I-H-O, thegoldenchild.com. I mean, the golden child on Instagram and Facebook. And also, you can find the clothing. Um, 
on www.thejumpshop.com. So shop is spelled with two P's and an E. Okay. All right. So it's not, you know, it's like shop hey, but it's shop. You know what I'm saying? So thejumpshop.com. You find that. Uh, these will be, uh, you know, available. You know, it's for a low price. It's good quality, y'all. I don't, I don't think I understand. Even this hair, y'all can just touch the fabric. You know nice. what I'm saying? It's like a thick what? cotton. 100% cotton, no cut, no nylon, no polyester, none of that. You know? So, uh, yeah, that's where you can find me, you know? Nice. I love it. You know, shout out to Jason. Look, the goal I'm trying to be loved, you know, for sure. Yeah. You know, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes, exactly. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to do this last month. See you. We finally got him in here, y'all. See? Signing out video CTV, your favorite girl, Luna B. Yes. See y'all later. Thought you knew me, but I swear you never knew me. You said talking high, but I swear you never knew me. Cause I gave you lie, you tried to leave me in the dark. About to prove it. I was racing, now I'm cruising. Fix my scars and all my bruises. I'm on the top with you all night. The show don't stop with you all night. Gotta watch how you do me. You thought you knew me. I might just add them before I write that she got a test. I won't be wifey, I got an extra. Gotta watch, watch how you do me. me. You thought you knew me. Thought you knew me, but I swear you never you knew me. me. Talking high, but I swear it never moved me. Cause I can't.